Well, friends, we are back to Pripyat again. We've been to the city and we have seen off Max. And now we are eager to get back to the Chernobyl flat. Only Alex is eager to go somewhere. As for me, I'm eager to finish this trip. Now we are going to pick up the new guy. He is our fan too. And he has never been to Pripyat before. Oh, he's going to experience this all for the first time. What do you think about crossing the line? Will it be okay this time? I think everything will go wrong, as it always goes. Hello there, bro! Are you Denise, right? I'm Anton. Have you just taken your granddad's pants? Oh my gosh, true thing. His name is Peter. I'm Peter the Great. I am Denise the Awesome. Right, Ivanko. Anton, please choose the right Ivanko this time. What's this app you're using? That is VPN. I have to use it because Yandex isn't working in Ukraine. You know, going through there is becoming tradition. From this lumber mill. It is rubber recycling. <laughs> I'm just glad to see you. So I see everyone's ready to go back, to see what happened. I mean, go back home to Pripyat. Good luck to you guys. Thank you, bye. Good luck to you too. Now we're going to the zone tactically, in tactical style. The other guy will be waiting us here, on the other side. Our companion. So are we close to the border, Dima? Yeah, we are really close, on the right. We are moving in soon. It is creepy out there. Holy moly. Dima, how are we gonna get through? We're going to search for the hole. Chernobyl zone starts across its fence. I am at the borderline. I'm looking out for patrols. No one here, it's clear. Oh my gosh. Our primary quest is to find a way in, guys. We are searching for a hole in the fence. People have made a path here. There is a way in. It is creepy. Watch out for the guards. I don't like this road. These traces look new. Some heavy vehicle have been there. Are you okay? Let's move. Have you heard the car or something? Yeah, I heard. From now, we are in the zone for real. We cannot relax here. The zone doesn't forgive mistakes. So what? How do you feel? We are in the zone. It's happening. Your life is upside down from now. It is not a city. There is no civilized life out there. <laughs> this guy looks like a wild dude in the jungle. Look at him. This forest is just the same like... I know, I was shooting the road. While normal guys are going to Pripyat, Anton is climbing a tree. Oh, shit. Denise wrote us a message in the VK. He was asking to take him with us. He was asking hard. Well, Denise is going with us for free now. We took him because he's our subscriber. You can join us too. Write us on Wiki. I wanna go with you, Kresan. And maybe you, the random guys, will come with us in the next Chernobyl trip. Usually we have to pay for the excursion, but now we can go there for free. Cool. <laughs> so that dude just wants some free stuff. We have crossed the fence in the zone now. It is called ARMS. It measures the radiation rate in the zone. And there we're catching up with our driver. Come on, come on, come on. Get in. Come on. That's it. It is a central road, guys. We have been riding our bikes there once. That time we haven't seen anything. It was complete darkness. But now we can show it to you by day. So the driver took us close to the metal base, but this place is a little bit different. And this place is very creepy. We have got the battery. 
Going here by day is risky. Anyone can see us. We are overloaded as always, though we haven't taken much. Look at it. Are we going to the base? Yeah. It is creepy and very dangerous here. We are crossing the Yanov station. Is it hard to go, Alex? Let's put it between those. And it will be easier to carry. I'm gonna carry it in one hand. It will be better for my back. Gosh, the plastic bag has fallen apart. Our fan's back hurts. Dima is becoming mad because we have to go. We can't stay here. Just look at his frown face. The part wire is all over this place, and that means we are close to the 5 km zone. We are almost coming to Pripyat. Just look at this green as salad, beautiful moss. I feel like I want to make a salad out of it. The rain started. Good for us. The background noise is bigger from it. More chances we will not be caught. What happened? Nothing, let's go. Wait, should I go for a reckon? So that's why I think is disturbing, right? Yeah, it looks like a substation. I can zoom it on the camera. What's the plan, Dima? Moving to the city, then we go to our flat. I only hope the flat is okay. What do you think? I hope it is intact. I think it is very possible that it wasn't robbed or destroyed. Yeah, otherwise we don't have a place to stay for a night. We are coming to some district. It is an infamous dangerous road. We gotta go really fast through it. The thing is, the excursion buses and other dudes use it. Look at this parts lying there. Oh my gosh. We have hidden our things in the Super Susa's flat. Now we're going to see what happened to our flat. Look at the sweat dripping. That's a hell. That was really hard to walk there. Really hard. Oh my gosh, I'm all wet. Now we're going to the flat we have been repairing. Frankly speaking, we're worried about it. Because other stalkers told us that our flat is destroyed by vandals. I am really worried about this flat. We haven't been there for long, but I don't think people could break it. If the flat is okay, I will not show you the way to it. But if it was broken, there would be no sense to hide it. And I will show you the way and the entrance. I am very excited. I am eager to find out what's there too. People wrote many nasty things in the comments. They told us that our flat was broken, burned, everything stolen. There were too much of theories and so on. So that is why we want to find out what's there, for real. And when we know it... Oh my gosh, there is a clear path to our entrance. That seems bad. It is the only path there, and it goes to our entrance. It wasn't here when we left the zone. I have never seen it appear this fast. It feels like a flock of bulls went through our flat. We are afraid to get in, cause there can be a setup. Tima. May there be an ambush? I don't think so. Oh my gosh, feels so weird, creepy. Well, there's 
list. Entrance looks nice. Don't flash in the windows. So, are you ready? Yeah. Did I leave our doors? What's there? Hush, hush, shut up. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Something weird happened here. Where are the doors? They stole my door. Silent. What happened there? Wait, it used to be like this. Oh, there are the doors. They hid them. Only one thing is absent. Mm. You bastards. Butter Joe. Butter Joe's team gives up other stalkers. Thank you for a nice searching quest. It was a crazy trip. Thank again, your Butter and Joe. Detected on 31th of December. They took the bulb. I have a spare one. Why did they steal the door? Why on earth anyone needs to steal a door? I don't get it, it's taken away. Why? That is a hell, guys. We didn't expect our flat will be ruined so shortly. They robbed it and destroyed. We tried so hard to fix that flat. We all worked hard. Max was upholstering this bed. And look what these bastards did. They tore it all apart. We wanted to show everyone that people can do some good things even here. I live like that, doing good. And even this time I try to implement this idea and show stalkers they can do the right thing too. But they just tore the curtains. We have brought everything with our hands here. You think that was easy? Paint, upholstering, curtains. I'm sorry guys. I just got emotional. You know, when you put your soul in what you do and you love what you do, and then you see this complete madness here. All ruined. Anton, it will be okay, hear me? We will fix it again. But you told us that no one was going to find this flat for a year, maybe. I thought so. But you see now. It hasn't stood a month without us. We wanted to show people an example. But we came here and turned this place into... I don't know. You broke everything, tore it apart and stole all you could. And you moved the table. It was standing there. Why have you done this? Where is our TV? Where can we find one? Can you watch TV in Pripyat? No? We wanted to connect there an old PlayStation to play some old school games. The shelves are empty, only rubbish left. Nothing here. Same. It is complete darkness now, guys, but I see everything well. I see everything white in the night vision camera, though it isn't so. Your clothes are white and there is no drawing. Really? Show me. Look at your jacket, do you see the drawing? Oh, you're right. Our hidden camera films in infrared spectrum. So we can easily see what happens in complete darkness. Checked. I forgot to turn off the light. At night, many weird noises and sounds kept me awake. Hush! Hush, everyone! What was that? Nothing now. The door is closed. We felt like someone was watching us. And when we fell asleep, this happened.
We live in Pripyat. We slept too well and didn't mention that someone peeked in our flat. This guy seems to be confused. He might be even frightened. We found about this guy only in the morning, when we were checking the record. There he goes! Yeah, he's coming! Oh my gosh! And that's why we wanna set hidden cameras all over Pripyat, near the entrance and even at the central Pripyat street. There go lots of stalkers. We have decided to leave one near the bucket. We will try to put some extra intensifying screens in the powerful radiation. And these screens must catch the radioactive particles from the nuclear fuel that's still on this bucket. We will see what's gonna happen with a smartphone and a camera if you put them in the extremely radioactive bucket. There we go. Oh my gosh, dude, let's get moving from here. But first, Dima is going to order some exotic stalker food for us. He is using the Pripyat delivery service. In the previous videos, we told you about it, about Dima's connections that let us order anything in Pripyat. Let's use a simple route, the street we live in. Mm -hmm. Near the house, not the hustle around. That's for delivery. Okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. Is it okay? Yeah, more or less. What time? About two or three hours. I think I have a specific man on my mind. That was... He's definitely the guy who made it all. The subscriber sent me some screens and messages of this dude. There is a commentary. And you told your subscribers that you took all our things and hid them again to prevent them being stolen. That was a noble thing, bro. Salute. But now please give our things back. The logic goes like this. You took them, so in fact you stole them. So we are waiting. Show your good side. That would be a right thing to do. So guys, now we're going to search for the stock that was left by by people that deliver things here. Dima said our house, nearby entrance. Yeah, it's close. We aren't eager to disclose our location. Oh my gosh, that would be just awesome if they really get what we ask for. Dima, is it for real? Aren't they going to throw us? Personally, I think that's bullshit, bro. Sorry. I see something under the balcony. Let me see. Let's keep going. Maybe it's in the basement? There is a basement entrance. He told under the balcony. There's a bag over there. Dima, there is a bag. What if there is rubbish and poops? I'm gonna get my hands dirty then. Taking a risk is brave. See what's inside. That's heavy. Oh my. <laughs> Oh my gosh, is that it? Yeah, that's ours. Have you ever seen a hidden stock like that? So now you see, it is hard, but possible. I'm starving. Oh my, dude, there are lots of dry rations from different countries. Let's go home to crack it open and see what's inside. There you go. Dima, take it. I can't see the nuclear power plant well now. Did the forest grow up? It is really high now. Why the forest became this big? We can see it from 16th floor, but it's too risky to go there now. Now we're going to taste dry rations. Mine will be Ukrainian, Anton will eat the Russian ration. Let's see what's inside. We're gonna see what eat Russian soldiers and Ukrainian soldiers. Actually, it's forbidden zone. It is hard to stay there, so these dry rations will help us a lot. 
The manufactured date is okay, it isn't out of date. And the second one is even better, it's good up to 2021. The very moment. Snidanak means breakfast, dinner and supper. Let's begin with Snidanak. Holy moly, I'm unpacking it all for the first time. It feels like a usual canned meat. Buckwheat porridge, liver pate, hard tack, what's that? A kind of cookies, I guess. Sugar and coffee, a dry napkin and wet napkin. Well, let's taste it. Am I supposed to heat it somewhere? Actually, yes, but we can do this. Look at it, what is that? It's a kind of unhygienic. Unhygienic on the roof of the Forbidden House. Looks tasty. Buckwheat porridge. With lavichna, what is that? With beef. By the way, it smells just the same when you cooked dinner, Anton. Really? Just the same. It is a regular one from the shop. Let's open it all. Let's try it with a hard tag. Okay. We don't have spoons, by the way. Have you? Has anyone taken some spoons? Really? Smells good and tasty. Let's try the super liver pate. Let's see what it is made of. This thing is super awesome, but maybe I'm just hungry. Tastes awesome in Pripyat. Actually, it is very tasty. Give me some. <laughs> give me, give me, I want that too, right? It smells liver pate. Really? The liver pate is awesome. Good one. But the heart tag is just a dry cookie. We are running out of it. Mm. As I see, we're switching to the buckwheat tasting. I feel like at home. Surprisingly, it is very tasty. Cool thing. By the way, the Ukrainian ration is the cheapest one from all others. And it doesn't matter that the porridge is cold, really. Mm. Yummy, just what we need here. Oh yeah, we have made a professional unpacking video. We were supposed to review something, but instead we have opened one pack and ate it up. And now we see that life here is hard. By the way, I can see the power plant in the distance, but it's too foggy anyway. Okay, we're finishing the Ukrainian breakfast and switching to the Russian breakfast. Let's compare them. Muy bien. What's there? What's there? You wanna know? Look at it, bro. Inside. It's waterproof. Oh my gosh, see that? Come on, unpack it. Wow. There's a spoon. This one looks even better. I can see many cool things at once. First of all, the matches. Wow. Camping. That is useful in Pripyat. I think they're waterproof. Yeah. Look here, it says waterproof and windproof matches, so they can resist wind. Let's see what's inside of this box. There we have meat with greens and peas. People, let's go, people below. Oh my gosh, let's get moving, guys. Gather it all, and we're going to the flat. Go fast, I'll take it. Take it. Go. They're radioactive. Oh my gosh, what we have done. This one was okay, it's sealed. Now let's go, faster. We don't want to be seen. That is what Pripyat is like, guys. Dima has spoiled a fun show. Despite that vandals cut off our wires and stole them, we have found a way to supply this flat with electricity. <laughs> well, we had to work hard, guys. We're gonna launch the fallback option of lighting. Using this 500 watts inverter, we're gonna raise the voltage from this battery, from an electric bike. We will discharge it step by step, because it is not 12 volts. I have modified the inverter and added an extra wire to connect the system directly. If I made it right, we will have some electricity. The negative output. Other. That's it. The bulb is green, there goes the voltage. The generation is going and I take this and tie the wire nicely. Hope it will be okay. And there is the charging cable. 
I plug it in the piece of wire and it is the connector. The other end of the wire goes to the inverter. I'm putting it very nicely and closely. Turn it on. There we are. All's good. The thing is, we have light in the entire flat. Look here. There's a light. They even broke the toilet. It was intact. Yeah, it was. Why? Oh my! Crap. It wasn't there. I don't remember it too. That's it, we've got the light. This time we have got the echo bulb. LED light. To spend less electricity. In theory, the battery is supposed to be working for the entire week. Or even more, about 10 days. So you can use it as much as you want, guys. Look at Dima, such a cool and calm face he's got all the time. He's a professional stalker, that's a thing. And he got used to our features, for example, Kresan can get light. And Dima can get Kresan in the zone. We're watching each other's backs. Yeah, right. High five. <laughs> Guys, we're moving to the death bucket. The radiation rate here is just crazy. We're going to carry out some radiation experiments here. We will try to use some intensifying screens and put it close. In theory, these screens must catch the radioactive particles that are on the bucket from the nuclear fuel. And next, we will make some other interesting experiments. Let's go. I'm recording the route, not to get lost. It's scary out there. The sky is cloudy. It is unbearably dark here. I hope wolves will not eat us in the forest. Hush! Did you hear that? Hush! That was me step on the branch. Well, guys, there's a bucket of death. There's some light from it already. It was painted already. Yeah, just look at it. It was painted so many times. Somebody didn't like the pink and they painted it again. I think the prepaid management have done this. Yeah, I think so. It is painted all over. It is of all colors now. Pink, not pink. By the way, there is the original color from this side. Let's get down to business. Let's get out the intensifying screens. It is supposed to be glowing from the powerful radiation. Give me that little one first. Take the little one. It is dangerous, there is radiation. It is torn a little, but anyway. I think I have to put it on. Maybe just throw it there. Maybe, but give him a light. I'm touching the bucket, the crack. Turn off, turn off the light. It doesn't glow. Give me the second one. We can't stay here for long, dude. Let's see what's gonna happen to this one. Isn't going to glow. Now turn it off. Let's measure the rate. Alright, let's check out the radiation rate here. I have a dosimeter. First is gamma. That's hard. And it is starting cracking already. Let's turn the sound off. 200 micro hands. Gamma radiation. In the distance. About 2 meters. The background radiation grew up to 1500 micro hands. Let's measure inside. 3500. Now let's measure the bottom. Film the crack. Eleven thousand of gamma radiation. Now let's measure the crack without the filter. Better radiation. I touched a little. There, it is crazy. 
right in this place. It drops there. When I move it, the rate is changing rapidly. Give me light. There. We can stay here for one minute, maybe. I mean, safely. It's dangerous here. I just want to find the epicenter of it. Almost a million. Don't touch it. A million, yeah. Do you know what that means? What? It is the epicenter. That was the maximum radiation. I hope I didn't spoil it. What does it mean? Million micro Renhens means one Rengen. It is almost like after the explosion. Oh my gosh, let's get out of here! The bucket area is considered to be the one of the most radioactive places on Earth. Some radiation lovers come here in purpose to get inside of it. Meanwhile, we are still here. Let's see what this rays of love will make to a smartphone. Recording. Light off. My stomach aches. From radiation? I don't know. Give me light. There's a crack and let's put there a smartphone. That is risky. I can make it fast. There was the epicenter. Yes, it worked. Really? It happened. Come on, for real? Yeah. You're gonna see it soon. Give me light. Oh, there it is. Do you see these dots? Now we see the deadly rays of radiation piercing the smartphone through. They interfere with separate pixels in the image sensor. We cannot stay here longer. We got the video, but I don't think it's going to be seen well. Let's start with another cam. We can film it on Sony. Okay, let's connect Sony. Gosh, I don't want to stand here. You're at safe distance. I'm not, and I'm scared, dude. Oh, come on. To stand near this death bucket. Well, we've got what we needed. It is seen, but not that much. Oh no, the Wi-Fi is turning off. Can it be not working from radiation? I don't know. Well, I don't see what I'm filming, but I'll try. The Wi-Fi doesn't work near the bucket. I can't tell for sure if it's connected with the radiation, but it just doesn't work. I'm going to fill the epicenter with one million micro rankings rate, closely. So now you must be watching the record and these black spots are emitting, I think. It is really close. If there is something, we'll see it. Okay, let's get moving. Let's get out of here. We have had enough radiation for today. Guys, I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but we have placed a hidden camera near the bucket. To find out who comes there. We will also try to attract here some wild animals by leaving some food. And you will see what we have got in the next video. It is scared, dude. Yeah, it is. From radiation or in general. We are setting hidden cameras in Privet. Is that cool? Yeah. Now we are installing this cam somewhere near our entrance. To find out what's going on here at night in the dark. It's so scary here. Really? I'm scared, bro. I can't see the stars. It is a dark night tonight. I hope it's for good. We want to set here the cam. We will make it face our entrance and leave here some food. And maybe some animals will come here to our entrance at night. Let's do it. Gimme. There. We'll set it like this. Yeah, we'll do. Nice spot. That's it. We can go, Anton. And now we are leaving some food. We will see if some wild animals are gonna like our food. Wow, look what we've got. And then near the building to be filmed. Yeah, perfect. Don't place it near the entrance or they will come in. Well, now we're gonna sleep and the camera is going to work. Will the cam be stolen, Anton? What do you think? It's 50-50. What if they can mention it? Do you think we can film anyone at night? Actually, I think we've got big chances. There's lots of wild. He has seen some wild animals today. Yeah, there was something passing. 
I think we better go to bed. We shall see the results tomorrow. While standing there, I feel strong smell of food. Yeah, I smell strongly. The animals will find it. You know what? What? We should close this door nicely. Do it. So the wolves will not visit us tonight. Yeah, do it, do it. Come in. Close the door. That's it. Fine. Now it's high time to try the Russian dried ration. Let's see what it's made of. As you see, we have placed everything well already. Let's finally taste it. Where should I start? We have got meatballs, beef, meat with peas and spiced bacon. An embarrassment of riches, so to say. First thing I want are the wet napkins. Because we are in extreme conditions, our hands can be contaminated with the radioactive dust. Let's search, it's sugar, one more and again, three packs. That's raspberry, peach, seems like we don't have it. Oh, there you are, it's a disinfecting napkin, right what we need. We must clean our hands very well. I want beef meatballs, my hand is getting on it itself. Oh, there's a heater, let's heat it all. Dima said he had the same in the plane. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, that's a nice smell. Smell it, smell it. Wow, awesome. Holy moly, that's awesome. Smells super tasty. Do you smell the spices? Yeah, let's turn on the heater. I smell the concentrated dry fuel. There are three tablets. And these things. One, two, three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. We have got the oven, the microheater. So small. I place there the tablet. Let's try it on. Oh, all's good. Now let's use these super matches. They look like this. They're kind of super good. And that is the igniter. Easy to light up. Burns like a torchlight. It is nuclear. They put here plenty of sulfur. Let's remove it. It extinguished. The dry fuel is burning very well. Let's put on our dish. Fancy that. The fire went out. It can be so. Oh, it's burning. Yeah, it's supposed to be this way. It only looks like it doesn't burn. But why? That's okay, the fire is very balanced. Oh my gosh, there is so much smoke. I don't see it burning. There is a flame, I can see it. Guys, someone's outside. What do? There was a sound outside. Let's turn the light off. Hush, guys, hush, silence. They can be friendly or not. They may be the cops, right? Yeah. So maybe we better hide upstairs. Let's hear carefully first. You need saw an animal today. It can be one of them. There were people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was someone. I heard branches breaking. So they heard us anyway. Yeah, they heard you. Let's do something, bro. Maybe we can go further and see. Can I go downstairs and... Yeah, we'll check out what's happening. We're waiting for a signal then. Just imagine that. That's Pripyat. That is what Pripyat like. And even filming a dry rations review is a difficult task here. So there wasn't anyone, really? There was something, but it seems to be an animal. Oh my gosh, you scared us so hard. Turn on the light. I had scared myself, first of all. We have been burning this for 5 minutes, and just look at this smoke now. It smells dry alcohol, really hard. I guess we were supposed to burn it somewhere outside, not in the room. Let's see what we've got. Hear the sound. Wow. Let's take the meatballs and set there the porridge at once. I also need to open it a little, otherwise it will explode. It burns well. Try it. Be honest, Dima. Fresh? I was expecting a better taste. Is it bad? The spice is okay, but there is no meat. I like it, but I can say there is not much meat, also, somehow. Were you expecting more? Yes, I had high hopes. Oh my, look at Denise now. He is waiting so eagerly for his turn, with a fork in his hand, looking at the guys eating. I'm waiting, and meanwhile these guys are eating hard. Let's go, Bogatir style. That is more like it. What do you say? It's too salty. They are meatballs, but it's rice rolled with meat. It is made of mince, so I can feel the meat texture well. It wasn't the wow. 
Now let me try that. So, I don't feel the taste of home cooking. Oversalted, not much of meat. I think it is soy meat, not the real meat. Yeah, maybe, it's possible. Maybe it even suits vegetarians. Hey, wait! Dima wanted to taste it. But it is too late now. Just saying, we ain't prepared and we were starving. Next dish. Hmm, that smells weird. Really? Very weird. Why does it smell like hospital? It smells bad. Come on. Yeah, the smell is really strange. Agree, smells hospital. It tastes only pure barley. Did you say rice? Rice, porridge, but it feels like pure barley. What a surprise. Anyway, we're gonna search for meat here. Russian dried ration looks awesome. A nice package, waterproof, looks cool, but the taste doesn't match at all. The taste is bad. No meat. Let me check it out. That's the pure barley for sure. A wrong label? It's not pure barley. It is a taste of extremely overcooked rice. We are still trying to find there some meat. I give it 5 out of 10. Next dish, meat with peas and carrots. It is very well heated. I can see there are peas, carrots, and there's meat. There are big pieces of meat, guys. Let me try the meat first. Well, I can say... What's that? See? A hair? Brah. Why is there a hair? Fancy that. That's long hair. Did you eat it? Of course not. That is trash. Not tasty? I don't like it. It's not spicy. No taste. There is a hair inside. But why do you expect dried rations to be good? 5 out of 10. I give it 4. I give it 2 out of 10. No one wants to eat this. So we're gonna leave it for the wolves. And yes, we are going to bait wolves tonight. And film them. Apple puree, do you want some? Yeah, sure. Let's start from bacon, maybe. Yeah, of course. So we're supposed to use this army hardtacks instead of bread. Is that sallow? That is a great thing. Oh my, it looks different from bacon. It's lard. Oh my gosh. I've never tried this before. It looks like pure fat. Smells like old bad fat back. It is as good as it smells like. Rotten, isn't it? Smells like old dried up salo. But is that expired yet? I can't eat it. That is just very old lard. That is 1 out of 10. I wasn't expecting this hell, honestly. It could be a very tasty product. But that is just awful. I give it 0 out of 10. Guys, it doesn't smell this bad. Just try it. Dude, it's tasty. Are you joking? I mean it. Are you okay with its smell? It is good. Do you like it? There are the Kazan delicatessen. It is called Shuzhuk. And it has just the same taste. So when you come out of Europe, you see only horse fat. No, dude. How are you? It tastes good, I mean it. So this awful lard turned out to be a delicatessen that we people don't understand. I'm not joking. Can you grade it? 5? 8, dude. What? Really? You gave it 8? Oh, come on. Are you mocking us? It's impossible to eat. He's going to eat it up. Look at him, guys. It's illegal to eat so much of this lard. I wanna say that it would be impossible to stay here without electricity. Because all batteries died. We have spent them all filming the dry ration review. I've got the electric splitter to charge everything normally. The charging goes, indicator zoom. Meanwhile, let's test these super awesome matches. I take one from the back. It is supposed to burn under water and in strong wind. There, it's fat. It doesn't this. Ouch, I made it wet. But it must burn anyway. It's wet, dripping. BS. Oh, it worked! Let's make wind. Now let's put it underwater. It starts burning again. See, it is extinguishing. That was too much. It is burned all over. These matches work good. They don't burn underwater well, but anyway, they'll be good for extremely wet conditions. Opening. What's that? Mashed vegetables. Mashed vegetables. So it is mashed eggplant, to be precise. Let's open the cheese at once. Okay, let's open the cheese can. That would be great. The hard tack is too hard and dry, but maybe it is supposed to be this way. Oh, it smells really good. Good. Let's smell the cheese. It smells good as well. It's gonna be tasty. A bit of cheese. 
and some mash? Show me! Is that too much? That is nutritious, guys. Come on, try it and tell us. Good one. Smells awesome. I give it 9 out of 10. It is regular but good quality. For dessert we're gonna open the mashed apples. It is hard to open. It smells yummy! I cannot resist to try it at once. Let's see. Tasty but not sweet. It has a nice consistency. We got used to salt and sugar, this one has more natural taste. And for us it tastes strange. The real taste of apples, no chemical stuff. Honestly, I didn't expect this coming, the Russian one looks so good and professional. I thought it would be awesome. So as a matter of fact, the Ukrainian one was tasty, but it looked unattractive. The paste is soft. You know, it's very bitter. The Ukrainian liver paste was better. Alright, I give this bitter paste 1 out of 10. And this paste gets 2 points. Oh my, I mean it. The only thing left is to taste our compotes, or rather vitamin drinks. Just add some water. It looks like sugar. And now it looks like some whitener. No smell, I feel some peach taste. It is weak, isn't it? Dude, water with sugar would be more tasty than that. It is time for some apple jam. Oh no, it goes the wrong way. It looks not that bad. There is a bit more sugar than usually. It is not the old good apple jam I remember. Yeah. It's a chemical sugar thing. Did you try that too? Yeah, they put lots of sugar. And now we've got the most extreme thing. It is the pill. It's a biologically active additive. And it's full of vitamins. I feel the lack of vitamins. Let's go. It tastes... Nasty as hell. But this is for vitamins. Damn it. Can you eat a half, please? That is disgusting. I need to drink something. Oh, cola. Anyway, dried rations is the best food for stalkers. It's perfect. Yeah. There is some fat that gives energy, mashed eggplants, anything you want. We haven't tasted the mash, but we are fed now. Imagine that. Four men ate one dried ration, and we are full, and we haven't eaten on top. We took plenty of food to prepare before. We had big bags of food and ate it all. Everything. But now we had a little package. Mm -hmm. and had a nice meal for four. That is perfect for extreme conditions. I recommend it. If you go camping, just take some dried rations with you. A nice dried ration. That will serve you good. There was something, it got through it. Through what? Through, um, through the elevator. A wolf? Oh, come on. I don't know. Close the door for now. Wolves, there are wolves! Hush! What are you gonna do? Lock the door! Oh my gosh, really? Holy wolves! Now sit tight and listen. Oh my gosh! Let's go. We must hide in the balcony. Go there, everyone. What was that? Wolves. You mean it? About five wolves. How could they enter? Are they in the hole or what? And that happened because we left food there? Maybe. I think they have come here because we cooked at night. So it was a smell. They were at our floor. Are you joking? I think we and our neighbors will not come out for long. There are four other flats. Were there any cases people were killed by wolves? They didn't kill stalkers, but some local dwellers were killed in winter. And now is winter. So we should call the guards now. Good job, guys. There are so many. We have to call the cops now. Oh my gosh. Guys, let's just wait till things come down. There is a camera below. I think it has filmed a lot this night. Is that your stomach? Yeah, it is. I was frightened with it too. We have to get out from here somehow. They may go away with the sun. 
We'll be checking it out. No. Do you have patterns? Yes. So maybe we're gonna use it. Can they climb from here? Yes, they can. Hush, hush. Can you close that hatch? It's from metal. Can they see the lantern? You think it's sitting there for real? Hush, hush. Just realize how stupid that was to leave food for wolves nearby the entrance. I thought they would eat and go away. <laughs> Maybe they did, but I don't want to check it out. It is silent now. Maybe we can come in the room? It was closed. Let's take a look. I think we can do it. There is nothing. Let's go and see. You will not hear them. Hush. You're in. Hey Anton, turn on the light. It is closed. Just look what we've done from fear. You've set it on the top? Oh my gosh. Instantly, imagine that. Maybe you should check out the hallway. Guys, it's a very bad idea. Can they hide in purpose? Sure thing. I'm sure they did that. It is very risky to go there now. I wanna tell you one bad thing. I think we have to turn ourselves in today. Do we have some other options? Can anyone pick us up? No, people left this place. Now they leave wolves. Imagine we hear this in the forest. Oh my, he hit the wall. And I was scared. What are you doing? I just want to lie down like this. But we have closed the entrance door. Yes. Maybe they didn't come inside. They are in our hole. There was a hole. We were trying hard and throwing food all around. So it would smell a lot. How stupid that was. I wonder if they ate our camera. Your camera must have filmed this big flock. And if they came in. We have waited till dawn and decided to blow up a pattern in the hallway to scare the wolves away. If they are above, the echo will scare them away, but they may go down and bump into us. We're gonna blow it, wait for some time and then go. We're going to check it out. It's been two hours since we heard the wolves. I think they have gone long ago, but we must check it out anyway. There were some steps, isn't it? No, it wasn't. Guys, stand there and hold the door. Dima, be ready. Just hold the door. They sleep in the corners. There is no one here. Check it all fast. Clear, not in our flat. Not there. I have a crazy idea. I want to prank everyone. And to do this, I have taken this speaker. You might have seen it. I'm setting the minimum volume. Let's check it. There we go. Connecting through Bluetooth. Crap. That was too loud. Turning on the sound. The wolves howling. I'm gonna turn it on tonight. Let's hide the speaker over here. Like that. This is it. The sound will turn into echo and it's going to be so natural. So the guys will not suspect anything. Of course I will use the maximum volume then. Let me show you how it works. <laughs> Creepy, isn't it? Oh my gosh, it's so scary! Alright, let's go prank! Not this way! Go to the balcony. They seem to be in the hallway. That is so scary, my heart sank. Oh my gosh! Let's get out of here! Damn it, there are too many! Crap! Oh my gosh, monsters! Are they here? They're everywhere. Is anyone outside? 
They're on the other side. That side. Oh my gosh. Everywhere. Holy wolves. So what are we gonna do? Hush. There we are, guys. Holy wolves. Oh my gosh! So they heard us, right? Yeah. Who are you calling? It's going to be music soon. Alright, that's enough. Let's tell him. Let's end this. Dima, call him later. We must tell you something important. That's urgent. What? Dude, that was a prank. Dude, we have done that. We have downloaded some wolf sounds. And hit a speaker down there. And turn them on, bro. We must go and get it, otherwise we'll have some music heard by the entire prepit. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Not gonna hear this. And you started calling. So we had to tell you about it, or else you would scare everyone. Sorry about that, bro. Hush, hush, everyone. I told you we had to turn it off. For real? <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, go turn it off. Otherwise, everyone will hear us. Come on, come on, go. Oh my, we blocked the door. Turn it off. Yeah, we're going. Boy, that is too loud. Capiz. <laughs> I got chills, dude. We should have stopped it earlier. Of course. That was too much. Actually, that was... That was a trick. As a result, I turned out to be the only one they played a joke at. From one side, that hurts. Because it seemed to be a real problem. And I even started solving it. The wolf's problem, imagine that. They were holding and everyone in the area heard that. And I thought, oh my gosh, they're holding too loud. Where are they now? A kinda... <laughs> I thought they were everywhere. I thought they were about 15 or 10. Because the sounds were coming from everywhere. And only when I started calling, the guy stopped me and said that was a prank. But I couldn't realize that for 5 minutes after this. Yeah, he didn't believe us. And then the holding turned into music and... Damn it. When I heard holding, I couldn't remember that it was a prank. I thought we were having troubles for real. And only later I realized, yeah, that was a prank that Alex made. I just haven't heard the sounds and so... So that means you haven't filmed any wolves. Where? The camera. We're gonna check it out. Maybe there was something. Let's go. Now I realize why you were this brave to stand against wolves. Let's go and see what this cam got. I hope no one has stolen it. Yeah. Quiet, it's all open there. Why did we close the door? No changes, nothing been there. Is the camera okay? Yeah, there it is. As it seems, no one has been there. That sucks. Wait a sec. It seems intact. Maybe someone was there. We don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Picking up the camera. The rain sound is so nice. Yeah, we're watching the record of the night. Of the entrance cam. And we have already got the mouse. Fancy that. There, it's taking food. It pulls a loaf of bread. Show it. There. See the white dot? Yeah. It was dragging from its place. Oh my gosh, yeah, holy moly. Are there only mice in Pripyat? I wish there was a raccoon or something. Let's see if there is anything else. Maybe there are some new traces. Maybe there was a raccoon or something else. Or a foxy. I don't think there were wolves. Look, it's pulling it. There, over here. Do you see the bread moving? Holy moly. It stole it. Yeah, we haven't filmed any wolves or large animals. But at least we have filmed a mouse. That's awesome. And we saw the mouse dragging some food to its home. Hey guys, this may sound crazy, but we have seen some mushrooms growing nearby, right here in Pripyat. So we're gonna collect these mushrooms. Have you got a dosimeter with you? Sure thing, in my pocket. So there are eatable mushrooms. We have seen some morals and parchini mushrooms. Really? They're eatable in theory. Maybe. So we're gonna check them without dosimeter. And if they are good, why not to eat them today?
I don't see any mushrooms yet. Take a look at these toy cars. It seems to be some vandals through them, all over the place, from the Tudor Garden. Panton. See, there must be some mushrooms. A nice one here. It's a chanterelle. No. It's very little. I think it's edible. It smells good. We are afraid that these mushrooms can be hallucinogenic, so we don't take them. We're gonna pick up only big ones. I've got an idea. Let's spread out. Okay. We're gonna have better chances to find something. What's there? They're small, dude. Little ones? Where are big ones? Look at this field. Wait, some toadstools. Oh my gosh, look what we found. Wait, don't break it. Don't, it is very fragile. Who knows well about mushrooms? We're gonna google these mushrooms. Don't worry, using photos. Beautiful. Yeah, film it well, please. Someone stepped on it. It's beautiful. Hanton. The radiation rate here is a bit higher than normal. But it's close to normal, isn't it? I hope that the rate is high here from the few that lie deeper in the soil. And I hope the mushrooms are safe. I've got an idea. Let's collect these mushrooms and boil them. Then measure the radiation rate again. I think that would be the right thing. We just don't have other mushrooms. It's January, winter. There are few mushrooms in January. We don't have a choice. We're going to cut them off carefully. More. Cut it near the root. Mushrooms must be cut from the bottom. In this way they can grow up again. That's it. Let's cover it. Look at it. It smells really good. It smells forest. It has a rich mushroom smell. The cap smells the most. I really wanted to find some maslata, but they seem to be not growing this season. Imagine, I've never cut mushrooms before. Is it fat or something? Let me finish. We've got it. There are some dots. There are dots, but it isn't wormy. There is a special way to find out if the mushrooms are poisonous. We need to put an onion with them. And if it turns blue, the mushrooms are not edible. If it doesn't change, we can eat them. I wouldn't eat the raw... I don't. Are you tasting? Yeah. What if there is poison? How is it? Tasteless. Damn it. We should cook it properly. I read somewhere, you can bite mushrooms, even poisonous mushrooms, nothing will happen to you. The main thing, you need to spit it out and don't swallow anything. It's high time to cook our super cool mushrooms. Here they are, we're gonna clean them, but first we must clean our hands. You need to peel the dirt off, though they are pretty clean. Is it dirt? We better use some water. Water is precious here. Uh huh, there we go. Dry them with napkins. They are so cool, look at them. I want to film it better. For a start, we need to find out can we eat them or not. I think that an onion is too much. We better cut off a piece of it. Yeah, there it is. Let's cut a slice. I think that's enough for a test. There we go. We need to save water. We don't have much of it. And we use our favorite burner. It saves us. The mushrooms are boiling. The onion hasn't turned blue. And that's good news. But it's not over yet. Yeah, we'll be boiling them 15 minutes more. The onion is not soft yet. And the onion is not blue, and it all looks very tasty. The mushrooms have changed their color a little. Look at these caps. Let's measure the rate. Put it close. <laughs> looks funny, isn't it? The steam goes inside, and it stopped making sounds. All is good, guys. The rate is even better than normal. So the radiation was coming from the soil, isn't it? Yeah, it was coming from the ground. Oh, we're gonna taste it, so... It smells awesome. What do you say? Mm. Does it have the radiation taste? No, it's very tasty. It has the taste of forest. Mushrooms. So you wanna try it? Let me make you a bombastic sandwich. It is called the Privet Burger. 
And the most important thing here is the technology of preparation. Smell it. The next step is the assembly. The final step. Oh my, it looks not bad. So you wanna try it? Here's your burger, sir. Oh, thank you. Fresh and juicy. That is awesome, Alex. Wanna try it? It's cool. Mm. He has a grand appetite. Yeah, only one bite left. Look at him. That is better than dried rations. It's a higher level. Yeah, it's fresh and cool. Yeah, fresh. Juicy. We've got some real troubles, guys. That was my worst fear. Dima is feeling bad, he has a terrible stomach ache. Now he can't even move or talk. The good thing I have taken some pills. I will find some painkillers for him, so he could rest. We didn't expect this happen. How are you, Dima? Bad. I've got two packs. You can read it. Nimesil, the painkiller. Dima, sorry, but I'm filming. Please, try to drink it, friend. Oh no, my head. You need to drink that and have rest. Half an hour. It will help you a lot. Slowly. Come on. This is it, bro, you made it. That's it, now he must have some rest. Now rest, you're gonna feel better soon. Do you feel pain near the ribs or the stomach? Near the ribs, over there. I don't know, maybe it is a spasm or something. Hey guys, we're going to visit the secret tunnel. There is a secret prepared tunnel here near the ferris wheel. We gotta find it. My hands hurt. From radiation. We're gonna see this. Dima, wait. There is no balance, it cannot spin. This UFO will not return home. Dima, what's this building? It's a hospital. Oh, the hospital is near. We can fix Dima's ribs here. Lucky us. I was scared that rigid that I have the wolves flashback still. Oh my gosh. That prank can discourage about going to the zone. Yeah, authorities can use wolves to scare away illegal visitors. If you only knew that they have a terrible lupophobia. Really? I'm really afraid of them. Can you guess my worst fear? Complete silence. We're walking through a real town and see nobody. We gotta go fast. We should walk faster through these open areas. Yeah, sure, there are cars and excursions. And that's surprising, because it isn't the season. Yeah. What a place! Oh, no one here. Look at it, guys. It's prepared rose hip. Prepared berries are safe, so we can eat them. And even make some tea with it. Can you get me one? A fresh berry. Oh my gosh, guys! So? There are the seeds. Have you eaten them too? Yeah. They must be spiky. Was it ripe? It tastes frozen like Ashbury. <sighs> Guys, now we are going somewhere. What is this place? Hang on. Stop. It is a big prepared tunnel. Is that the entrance? Yeah. Let's enter it. There was an alarm system, see this? Be careful, there's water. There are the sensors. Oh my gosh. I 
we living the same way? I need some spare hands here. Can you carry this bottle? Grand. My flashlight's battery is low, so we don't see well. Holy moly! Only two flashlights now. Terrible sound there. And there was something. This looks roomy. Let us get moving. I didn't know that there are such underground areas in Pripyat. Crap. Approved by Pripyat dealers. What was this place for? This used to be the tunnel for vehicles unloading. Is that big? Oh my gosh. So let's go and see. Looks formidable. A monster tunnel. Pointing there. Give me a sec. Let me look around. Okay, pointing. Should we make our new home in this tunnel? Maybe. We haven't been there for a while. The fair is will. We gotta go fast. There is an outpost. There are patrols. So we should be like ninjas. The wheel has been spinned, definitely. It is not in the original position. It is different. We have spinned it, but some people didn't believe us. Dude, close. Go, go guys. Faster, everyone. Everything's close. The cars. The merry-go-round, lodka, the viterog, and the ferris wheel itself. The hell started. Where we are going? Dima, have you seen clothes being dried over there? Stalkers or police? <laughs> Maybe some police officers do funny stuff for a joke, but seriously, it works like this. When you walk in the night and see some scary stuff they left for you, you're gonna be scared. That is supposed to be funny. Some scarecrows, but for stalkers. They have fixed the fence. As fast as you can, guys. Do it faster. Damage. Oh god. There you go. Soon we are reaching the docks. We want to get some water from there. Going fast again, this area is opened. The Pripyat restaurant. There it is. So many traces here. This place is popular. Old vending machines. Oh yeah, they disassembled. No cops. When I was eight, I lived in the Kazakhstan. And there was a bitter district. And there were just the same machines. With soda water. I feel nostalgia. That was a cool time. A pity we can't bring it back. This is the dog's area, where were ships. You're gonna see the Brakabar on the right. We're gonna get some water from Pripyat River, for the Mad Science channel. They have a powerful microscope, and they will conduct a careful test of water from the Pripyat River. So we're gonna see what is inside of it. Let's get some water now. The full bottle? Take half. They're gonna need a few drops. Yeah, but... Is it enough? Sure. That's it, we've got it. 
Some water with radioactive fallout. Yeah, yeah. Let's get moving from here, we are risking. You can see the research on Mad Science channel. So we're gonna find out what's in this water, on the molecular level. Hey Dima, can you tell us about this thing in the water? This thing? What is that? A pontoon. A pontoon boat? There are lots of boats here. Why do people call it the Brakabar? The Br what? The Brakabar? The Brakabar? I was right. So, the Brakabar. So it is a pontoon boat. There were lots of Rakata hydrofoils. And they use this pontoon as a dock. This area is so open, holy moly. But surprisingly, no one's here. The advantage of winter trips is that there are no excursions and no one there. And not many stalkers, but many wolves. Hopefully there are no wolves as well. We haven't seen them at least. That was of a dim's bike. <laughs> and now it's a piece of junk. There are still some wires from electronics. And it was like... Now let's look at the dogs from the inside. Or rather the Pipit Cafe. It's complete mayhem. Freezers here. Tables. Though the view is still nice. And there are some benches. Still on the places. Some tables. Cool. Oh, there's a cafe sign. Letters. Mosaic. The echo of the past. Uses our spirit. It is clean there. The floor is good. So we're gonna go. It is a concrete ship with an atom on board. It's the public service center, a well-preserved shopping center. Guys, we're going to visit a legendary place, a trade of Soviet times. In USSR times, it used to be the shopping mall. It was very modern that time. There you could get anything you want. Now we're going to see what is left from it. Let's go, guys. Look at this staircase. Maybe it's a fire exit. So? It's authentic, but messy. Some small... Cellar. There were lots of these shopping centers in the Soviet Union. And they all were named... Yeah, Dombyta Jubileini. Pay attention. Household Services Bureau. I can hardly believe that. This place used to be full of life. People sold and bought some food, clothes and so on. Who knows, maybe there were some butchers over there. Dima, what did people sell there? There used to be everything, from food to furniture. So everyone was furnishing his home with these things. I mean all people buildings and houses in this area. And there is some furniture department over there. Let's go and see it. There. That is the Russian eau de cologne, or at least the thing it turned into. All these bottles cracked from pros, we should be careful of them. Let's smell the perfume. There's no smell at all. Look at the taps here, and big mirrors. I'm not sure why they're here. There's a Soviet shampoo. Such a cool container here. Blue hair color with protein. That's for hair dyeing. Use undiluted. A thing for girls. So that was a beauty parlor, judging by these fancy mirrors and sinks. Oh, there's still some inside. There is something. Let's go and see. It is pretty obvious. There was a powerful motor that was stolen. Look at these wires. They are for 380 volts. They were drinking while stealing metal. Masandra, port wine. 
качественно. It used to be cool, isn't it? This one is from Crimea. So there are no chemicals, powder. Hopefully those times it was good. Is that? Oh, look here. The ventilation, the info to women's hair saloon and clothing saloon, second floor. We have been there just yet. A fresh filter. Someone has disassembled all the lamps for copper. They got it and left them hanging like this. Well, this place has been looted, everything stolen. And maybe it was looted very first, and then all other places. So we're getting out of here. There is nothing else to see. Denise? Look, have you seen that? It's the mailbox. How do we get letters out of it? There it is. It is opened. Where are they going? Let's join them. What is that, Dima? I don't have a notion. It looks like... I guess that was the high voltage line. For 110 kilowatts was going in to keep an eye on the voltage. Weird. The other swimming pool. And there are some traffic lights. That is something new to me. Oh my gosh. There are some bulbs there, but I can't feel them, too much of light. Have you really found a phone? Yeah. Just open it. It is inside. Really? There is a hidden smartphone. Oh, yeah, really. Would you like us to restore the telephone connection here in Pripyat? Actually, this is real. Write us about it. When it is raid time in the city, there appear lots of signs, and they look very funny sometimes. A kinda, it can be a roll of apples on the ground. And these signs indicate the guards that there are some people, so when you pass him by, something may drop on change, and they will find out that there is someone, and that's very smart of them, really. Well, now the final review of dried rations, guys. We have brewed a nice coffee. That was in the ration. And now we are boiling some water for tea. We're gonna try these porridges from the Ukrainian dried rations. It is called pur porridge with humes and mad jelly. Human flesh? <laughs> Human flesh. No way. There is no special label. And it looks like a regular one. Come on, no one needs a special dried ration version. Oh, I just forgot about it. There's a gum in the kit. It is from the Russian one, isn't it? Yeah, Russian. I wanna test this gum. It looks like this, one dropped. Oh my. Have your tooth just cracked? It has a very strong, mean taste. And it's as hard as a stone. Maybe it's from the cold. But it has the wow effect. Really? Watch your teeth. Let's crack it open. I can open it a bit, cause we have to heat it. You know, I think it smells better than the Russian one. Well, the can is heated now. You know, it's a big piece of meat. Well, what should I say? The dried rations turn out to be just awesome. Two dried rations are enough to feed four men. So there's twice more food than needed. So soldiers must be like always starving. And they work in hard conditions. So they put here twice more food than necessary. They make it densely. So that is the Russian coffee with cream, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't smell like coffee. It smells like an old shampoo. We've got the Ukrainian one. We'll compare them. So what? Very sweet. I added much of sugar. Listen, that is not coffee. Yeah, it isn't. It's a compote. Even the coffee is not the real coffee in the Russian dry hydration. It looked cool, but it tastes like chicory. I don't feel the taste of coffee. Just look at this piece. The Ukrainian canned meat looks tasty. Let's let's taste it. No hair inside. Smells good. Nice. I don't like canned food, but I can give it nine out of ten easily. I think it is very tasty. I feel natural meat. Smells meat. I want some more. Mm. What do you say? 8 out of 10. I feel meat fibers. Nice one. I recommend it. I expected the Russian one to be cool. Me too. We have watched the solid's review and he likes the Russian one and dislikes the Ukrainian one. Maybe we have got a defective one. You mean out of date? Maybe. Though the date is okay. So? 
I can feel the meat. We have heated the porridge now. It used to be hot and became liquid. Like soup. That is weird. What is the taste? Why it is so liquid? Mm. If you know what that means, you will get it. The pearl porridge is crusty. So it is not overcooked. And the last thing we have got from the Russian dehydration. A candy bar, the officer. It is 30 grams of dark chocolate. You know, brains work better with chocolate. Wait, why it's white? It is supposed to be dark. Too old, maybe? Oh my gosh, try it. Hard, isn't it? That was my joke. Maybe it was frozen. Maybe it was scared with wolves. <laughs> and pretended to be dead. Nice dark chocolate. Really? Fine. I would like a piece of it. Oh, my chocolate! Why are you going to? I really wanted to eat it. It doesn't look nice. And it even became white from oxidizing. But it tastes really good. 8 out of 10. Or even 9. Yeah, nice chocolate. It's cool. We are on the top floor of this 9th floor building. And there is... There's the attic, and we're gonna hide here. The three cool dried rations. They're going to be a present for some of our stalker subscribers. We will turn left, and there's a hiding place. Where? It looks like this. I don't see it. There was a supply stock. See the water? It used to be a hiding place. So we're gonna hide them behind this pillar. We're gonna tie it nicely. Show the dried rations. They're gonna be okay, don't worry. It is dripping here a little. So let's see these friends. Rare. That is a rare Kazakhstan dried ration. Dima had to work hard to deliver this here in Pripyat. The next dried ration is German. It is super cool. Yeah, third many is one of the most awesome dried rations. What is next? And the last ration is American. The American dried ration, 12th version, is supposed to be pretty cool as well. We are leaving all this for our subscribers stalkers that will go to Pripyat and find it on this attic. Watch our videos carefully. We're gonna give you a few hints about the location of where are these dried rations. So it's all up to you guys. Good luck. It is behind the ventilation shaft, over there. And one more thing, the guys who will find this, please take a picture and send it as a direct message in the Instagram or just upload it with the hashtag dried rations prepaid crescent. And we're gonna find these photos and upload them to our community. Let's go, good luck. My flashlight has died, so it is a sign that we should get moving. I'm filming the route, so remember it. It's all close here. Look here. And there we've got the entrance to the staircase. And there is a way to the roof. We have tried to make a dry ration review on this roof. While I was cleaning our flat, gathering trash and so on, I have found another pile of trash from other stalkers. Imagine that. So they have made a mess in our flat. Yeah, there was a bottle from champagne. Whiskey in cola. I wanna prank the guys. They're going to be glad to see it. So this is a moment when we are leaving Pripyat. What should we do with this flat? It was looted by someone. So should we find another one? And make a new Pripyat shelter? And fix it again? We don't think we should make the full repair of this flat. Just because too many people know about this place. We wanted to make a big project. We are going to fix the sewerage and get here water supply and install a bath here and even plan to cover some walls with tiles. So that could be just awesome. But our flat is known by police and dirty stalkers and some other people. So we can't go on with this project. So guys, please suggest what should we do now. So maybe we can restore a village house? You know, in the wild forest. Or just help Granny Masha. You are guiding us. So write what should we do in your opinion. Despite our flat was discovered, we are leaving you a nice supply stock here. For stalkers that will come here. There is some sugar, tea, some water, and a little bit of prank. Some special brew whiskey cola. Let stalkers have fun. And you're gonna see the hints about in which building and where exactly. What address these dried rations are. Just be attentive, guys. And that's it, you will find them. Despite our flat has been ruined, it is still the best and the most beautiful flat in Pripyat. Turning on the light and moving out. Have you taken your... Let's go. Let's go. Haven't we forgotten anything? We are living in Pripyat, guys. Living nice and easy. 
It's pity we haven't done everything we planned to. But there are plenty of crazy projects up ahead. I think they'll be more exciting than just living in Pripyat for a few months. And there's a song like We're Living Pripyat. Is that a real song? Oh my, we were going and suddenly stumbled into a red car after the turn. We didn't expect this coming and we haven't filmed that, sorry. Let's hide somewhere, there? It is too risky, dude. If they go there, they will see us. Let's move. Yeah, go there. Oh my gosh. Though it is normal for Pripyat. Oh my gosh, Alex. He is really fast. Over there. On the left. Is a red car. Resembles Opel. Holy car, I hope they haven't seen us. We should have been on the watch out. Side. Go side. Fast. Guys, we don't have time. Moving from here now. Let's hide. It's the excursion. Crap, let's go. Oh my gosh, dude, that's crazy. Hush. Silence. What? No one here. It's the most risky moment, leaving this place with all videos we have filmed. We were seen at the border, and now we're hiding somewhere there. Maybe there's a car waiting for us. Dima suggests a risky, but very fast option. We were supposed to walk this road, but we have mentioned the car and decided to avoid it. When we started passing it by, we heard it was going into us. And then happened an ironic thing. It has stopped in the path that we chose to bypass it. So we had to hide in the forest. And we have bypassed it through the forest. Right to the place of our initial destination. And finally we have passed the car. Went to the road we are supposed to go. Barely. We are at Yanov station. Cross the railway. After our videos, the marauders have abandoned this place. They even left this transformer. They are going to disassemble it. Look how much of precious matter is still here. We have reached the Granny's house successfully. The Granny that lives here like a hermit in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. Well, guys, we have come to Granny Masha for a visit. Just like you ask us. Dima is opening. Yeah, no one comes out, so we've decided to check it out. So the lock is outside. Yeah, it is locked. Somehow she wasn't at home. We have looked for the neighbors, but there was no one there. No one here, but there's a cat. No one can abandon a cat. Dima went for a reckon. And we are waiting. Looks like no one's there. The cat really wants to go in. Oh, there she is. Hmm? Hello. Yeah, there are people. Let's meet the hermits of the Chernobyl exclusion zone. So let's go. It's running. Hey, kitty. You're so cute. Come in. Yeah, close the door, please, or the geese will run away. Get in. 
some plywood, and what's this for? Look at it, nice talk. I smell the ancientness. Shall we come in? Yeah. Oh, there's a party. Hello everyone. Can we join your party? Sure, come in. We have found you finally. Hello. Hi. Hi there. Hello. Found us. Sup girls, can we party with you? Have you been to my house? Yes. Poor kids haven't found me. When we saw Locke, we started worrying. Why haven't you called me? What should I do now? I don't have nettle. If I had some nettle, I would take your pants off and slap your asses with it. If in Banya, I agree. <laughs> I remembered you when you came in. And I wondered who you are. I thought you haven't been there. But they already have been there. They have filled me and planted some garlic. Yeah. Yes, I remember you guys. Yeah, that time Dima was planting his... So what? You wanna come to me or stay there? Oh, it's not necessary. You have a party here and we just dropped in for a few minutes. To check if you are well. I'm almost crying from happiness. Let me take some revenge. Okay, here you go. Don't slap me too hard or I can't sit. First time here? Yeah. Is Dima with you? Dima is... Let's see him. And let's take some revenge. Yeah, this is a good thing. Dima, come here. Hey Dima, I'm gonna get you now. I've got a stick. Here she goes, man. You better run. Hello there. How are you doing? You weren't at your place when we came. I thought you left for holidays. You know, every Saturday people brought me the film you made about me. So we have watched it? About 2 million people have watched that. About 3 million now. Now I'm afraid that so many people will try to see me and I will never have time to sleep. We will not take much of your time. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, about 5 minutes. Let me feed you. Let's go. Kitty! So cute! This kitty is so loving. So neat. Sorry, what is your age? Mine? I'm 80. 86. 86? And those are 82. Oh my gosh, guys! We have broke into the party. How do they live here? Cut off from the rest of the world. They don't need a TV or anything else. And I have another stick in my house. They have seen the video. Really? The one about them? Last time it was Saturday, and Euro had brought us this film in his smartphone. Smartphone? Yes. There are lots of questions for viewers for you. All right, let's go. I want some water. Can I drink from the well? Is it a special cup? Just take some with a cup, right? All's clean. People have checked this well plenty of time. But I'm still not sure about it. Can I try that too? Yeah, try some water from the Chernobyl well. Okay. They say it's okay. Mm. Oh, it's very radioactive. Can we check it? Yeah, I feel the radiation is burning inside of me. Let's measure the rate, just in case, you know. Many people think that it's all contaminated and dead, deadly, he means. I tell you what, there came a... over the normal and took some... Oh, come on! Is it for real? It isn't much, just 40. Have you checked it? With an open lid. It is safe. There it was. Yeah, just a bit higher. Maybe there is some on the bucket. Outside. Let's see how it's built, guys. There is a bucket. Give me some light. Dude, that is really deep. It's transparent. It is crystal clear. I can see the bottom. This granny is awesome. She welcomes us like we are her grandsons. Yeah. And she even slapped me like this. Grannies drink this water and live over 80 years. And they're lively, imagine that. That means that a little bit of radiation is not dangerous. An abandoned bus stop. Yes. It was as snowy as hell. It even reached the fence level. No one cleans the roads for us. Look there. Hey, take a look at this. I will show you. Okay. There. Okay, got it. I close this door to show that I'm not here. Aha, uh -huh, now I get it. Some come alone for a visit. Yeah, just like we were trying to find you. Oh my, this granny walks really fast. I can't keep up. Hey Alex, I think that would be just awesome. I have an idea. We can place there some solar panels and get some internet. And teach her how to use it and her relatives will be able to contact her. And she would be able to start her own business, get some money.
We are finally home. Come in, fellows. Can I ask you something? Do you have some warm water? I'm thirsty. There it is. Can I use this cup? Sure, there are some cups. Take them. Awesome. That is what I long for. It is my third cup. I can't stop drinking. Which one? This one. Ivan and Maria. Cool water. I feel alive now. I was thirsty since we were running from guards. Yeah, I will try to make a call. Now you are charged with the energy of this water, aren't you? The journal? There is everyone who comes for a visit. Oh, they leave numbers for you. This is my favorite German visitor. Plus 49 means Germany. And that is Christian. Oh, Christian, the Polish guy, I know him. Yeah, I remember them. Plus he has a Ukrainian number. That's Amanda and Francesca, two German girls. Do they go there on their own? With excursions. Seat. Take a seat there, guys. And Granny is going to serve the dinner. Maybe we can help you? We need to go to the cellar. Okay, I wasn't there. Let's go and see them. <laughs> Granny is becoming too old for this. Climb in here, in my own cellar. What are we gonna take, fellas? Look there. Maybe classics? Let's get some pickles, maybe? So be it. Yeah, a small jar. Okay, and there are some more. What else do you want? Maybe... We're gonna take some tomatoes. No, no, no. Thank you, that's enough, really. That's pretty much for us already. Careful. Careful, Granny. Take it, guys. That is going to be a feast. Chernobyl pickles. Closer to the sofa. Did you use it yesterday? It is hot now. Today. Oh, today. It is hot still, just touch a kachurin. And this thing is kachurin. Yeah, on the top. It's warm. If it's cold, you can go up and sleep there. That's really smart. The Russian stuff has two inputs. The ash pit is opened. I think it's a complex technology here. There are several ways inside of this stuff. This stuff is old, you can cook on it. Dear Granny, did you like the film? Very much. Really? Honestly? You guys have made a great video. And made Granny a star. I was worrying, that is very important to us. That you liked it. Our Granny liked the most, the moment how she planted the garlic. Really? Yeah, she was happy to see it. Try it. Pickle. That's better than dried rations, isn't it? It smells awesome. And all this food was grown here, in the yard. I hope I will not get the third hand from it. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Take a seat, Granny. Why are you not drinking? Oh, kids, I forgot to bring you some mushrooms. Granny, please. Sit with us, have rest. I have brought you a little jar of mushroom on my bad legs. So how dare you not to eat this? Okay, we cannot resist any longer, thank you. What are you planning to do next year, Granny, about the garden? You will come to help me in spring to plant some potatoes. Okay, will do. Do you have enough firewood? Yes. I well. One day fellows have come here and cut me an awful lot of firewood. Eat for health and thank you for dropping by and that you don't forget about me. Thank you, Granny. Really wanted to come here, you know, and share some news with you. That so many viewers have watched your interview. We didn't expect this. Blast. First time I saw it in my son's smartphone. The elder son. There he is. On the right? No, it's my dead husband. That is the husband and that is the son. So let's try the mushrooms. I'm gonna bring you some plates. Hang on, you need a plate? So Dima, I already tried some Chernobyl mushrooms. They're grannies and they're so cool. Better than ration. So what do you say? That is 10 out of 10. What kind of mushrooms are they? Yellow knight? Silas. No way. Are you sure? Yes, I am. They aren't silas. They're not tube-like. Smell it. Cool. They smell like silas. What do you say, Anton? You know, guys. These mushrooms are the Chernobyl mushrooms. Granny, what are these mushrooms? They're yellow knight. I told you. Okay, let me try them. Can I ask you something, Granny? Are you here from the day you were born? Yes. You knew all the neighbors, and they all were abandoning their houses on your eyes. Yes. What did you feel about it? No one have told us anything. They only said fire, fire, but what kind of fire? We are villagers, a kind of ignorant people. Fire means that the hut burns, but... Or a forest burns. And we knew that firemen do extinguish the fires. It happened on the 26th of April. But we were evacuated 4th of May. 
As a third, they told us that we should gather all our things and be ready to leave our homes. And when we started leaving, that was a real soul pain for me. That was really painful. Just think about it. We have lived here for generations. Our fathers and granddads and kids, everyone had to leave their homes. They gave us supplies only for three days. We weren't told where we were going. We were taken to Kapilov. And everyone in the area was taken to the decontamination point by buses. So they cleaned the vehicles. They have decontaminated everything, both vehicles and people. And people too? Yes, people too, with some strong chemicals. I have never heard about it. Me and my husband gathered our things and went to the bus. They didn't tell us where we were going. There were lots of buses. There were lots of trucks. What was done to the cattle? Some people had swine, cows, bulls. They brought them all to the farm. But what has gotten to the cattle then? Did they buy them from you? No, there were two options, two lists. The first one was for those who gave the cattle for meat. And the second list for those who was gonna take the cattle back. Me and my husband have decided that anyway, our cow was too old. We agreed that we will give her for meat. And later, in due time, buy another cow for ourselves. We were taken from here in May. In August some new houses were built for us. Where? In Makarov district. Ruskaya village. It's about 20 or 30 kilometers. Near Kiev? Yeah, near Kiev, yes. So we were given a new house. My husband had a mother in those times. And I had a mother. We lived separately here. Each had his own house. But there we were placed in one house. It's an anthill. Oh my! I can't ask my mother to go away. So let it be. And some official came one day, Relenko, and he said, who has kids that go to school and who has kids that go to kindergarten must not come back and settle down there. And who hasn't, you can go home. Aha, uh -huh, that's the point. Kids could not go back. And my husband said, let's go home, we have nothing to do there. Those times we didn't have any kids to take care of. And we return home. And the head has given us a free car. We have loaded our things and went back home. There was a nice militiaman, a Struga. Militia was really good those times. Everything was on its place. Every single piece of dust. So when we came back, everything was just like we left it. The militia was guarding the nearby houses then. Day and night. There are no marauders. So officials made it in a good way and said, if you want to go, go, right? I mean, they could just forbid you to return and that's it. One day a general came here with much of barbed wire. So he intended to fence everything here with barbed wire. Up to the farthest hut over there. But it worked out different. Yes, eventually they set the border line in 10 kilometers from this place near Strahalicia, and they still can't remove this wire, right? They aren't going to, so they made it farther than supposed to be, yes. We wanted to ask about Rushniks. Many viewers have watched the video and have some frequently asked questions. So we're going to ask you some of them. We have filmed these Rushniks, and they keep asking about what that, is it handmade or what, and how do you use them? That is the interior decoration, a decoration. Yeah, sure. Is it handmade? I made them all myself. Really? Yes, I make them myself. Why do you cover your TV with a cloth? That lens. I cover it to prevent dust getting on it. Oh, dust protection? Yeah. And people also ask, why your mushrooms are this big? They think it's all from radiation. Oh, kids. If they are radioactive, Granny would have died long ago. In the 24th of October, it was 32nd anniversary since I have started living here. Now it's 33rd year and I'm still living here. I eat these mushrooms and my kids eat them too. And I give many as a gift. And so many people thank me for that. By the way, one mushroom was 700 grams. And another, the biggest one, was almost a kilogram. Oh my! It is dried, so he's smaller. Is it silos or bolitus? That is white bolitus. That is because the soil is really good here. It is sand and... You think it's not because of radiation? No way! It is cleaner here than in Kiev. Sit, son, sit! Drink another one. 
I think we are good for now already. You will drink some more, kids. There is still some in the bottle. I will drink for them then. We've got an idea. There is a thing that generates electricity from the sunlight. It is a small flat panel. Can we place them on your roof? And there will be a socket, so you're gonna be able to use electricity during blackouts. You'll be able to plug in a freezer, or charge a smartphone, turn on the light and so on. What do you use for cooking? Is it firewood or gas? Firewood. Really? What do you think about electric cooker? I don't know about this, kids. If you can help me this way, you can do it. I will thank you for that. Okay, Granny, we've got you. Thank you. Thank you for approving. I have only one TV, no radio, and I don't watch it much. Only in the evening. Are there many channels? There are three channels. Inter, Plus and 2 and Plus 2. And one stopped working. It was lost? Yes, lost. And I was given this black box. And he set it... How long ago? In fall, grandson has replaced it and bought a new antenna. And now there is written... 42. 42 channels? I've got two remote controls. And they have shown me how to use them. One is for turning it on, and another switches the channels. Yeah, yeah, switchers. I've got a very old radio, but it's broken. Out of order. I'm a boring person, but what should I do? Granny, thank you for the treats. Thank you very much. It was tasty. If you have called me, I would cook something in the oven. You know, Granny, you're playing by ear very well. Next time we will call you beforehand. Just tell us where we should put all these dishes. We're gonna help you to wash them. I will wash them myself, kids. No, no, no. Yeah. I will do it. Okay, but tell us where to place them. Just take the table on its place. Oh, the drawer has opened. We're going to leave some money for Granny. She greeted us well and fed, so... 2000? Maybe. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you for coming. Let the God bless you, make you healthier, stronger and make your world safer. And come to Granny again. Don't forget about me. He forgot his hat. Oh, lad, that is awesome. We took him with us and he fails. He just rolled in VK. Take me with you. Krasan took him and... Now he forgot his hat in Chernobyl. Good job. Guys, you also have a chance to go with us and see it all yourself. Just write the comments. I want to prep it with Krasan. That's it. And maybe you will join us next time. Where will we go in there? Come on, do it. We have got some gifts from Granny. And it turned out that this granny is my relative. Really? Yeah, this happens sometimes. Can I ask you something? The three million people have seen you already. Can you wish something good for them? I wish to everyone the best and the healthiest life. So that everyone be tough just like the granny that lives in Chernobyl for 32 years. And I'm still good. Health to you. Thank you very much, granny. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you, kids. Thank you. Thank you for the tasty dishes. And we've got something for you in return. Oh, kids, you're helping Granny. That's it, that's it, take it. That is from our souls. You need it more than us. Thank you, thank you, kids. That is our common help. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot. Thank you. We will be back. See you soon, then. See you. See you. Good crops to you. Come to other Grannies. They are waiting for you. No, thank you. I will stay home for now. We are moving out. There's the boulder, it is dark. Move it. We have successfully left the zone, and we are at the borderline, so we gotta move fast, because the checkpoint is very close. And once again we have showed you how a stalker trip must be done, owing to our super guide Dima. I always have fun with you guys, and thank you that you follow my lead here in the zone. We were never caught. I have had enough of adventures. <laughs> Actually, Denise is kinda sad, because he forgot his hat in Granny's Masha's house. And thank you, Denise, that you haven't brought us much of trouble. There were some, you walked too far and so on, I didn't hear what we were saying. This guy was shocked. It's normal for first time in the zone. Don't be lazy, write Crescent, I want to prepare it with you. Leave a comment, write in VK, in all the videos. And then, bro or sister, we will get you with us in this crazy and awesome adventure with Kresan. We aren't going to stop. We're going to film many other crazy videos, guys. And I promise they will be even cooler than Pripyat. I assure you. You will see that yourself pretty soon.